Hey, this is Tyler Theater Design Company. We're gonna do a, a quick setup video on the companion panel for a two gig GC3 alarm panel. There's a couple crucial steps on this system. First step, take the USB provided uh, stick with the current firmware. So we will send this out to you if you need it. Um, if you're if you've purchased a two gig product from us, or we'll do a manual update uh, through our GC3alarm.com panel. And then this is the companion panel. So you have to load the software, firmware, on your main GC3 panel, which just looks just pop into here, and it will automatically start its firmware update. Once you do that, you'll get your normal alarm panel back on your GC3. Now we're working only on the companion panel. So this is the GC3 companion panel. We're doing the same exact step. Before any steps are done, we want to load the firmware, and the firmware should be SP1 V326 six seven seven zero if it doesn't say that reload the usb firmware once you do that you should have a panel that's not connected and not paired if it has connected or paired to a control panel you want to press and hold these two buttons for 10 to 15 seconds and then it will show not connected and not paired so first step once we've done the initial setup of those things i'm going to go to wireless and we're going to see if we're hooked up or connected anything what we found is once we've loaded the new firmware, we get authentication problems. The Thailand here is our main network. So we're going to click on that. We're going to type our password in. And we're going to hit next. And you're going to see a couple things. It's going to go to auto. So your network's going to be very similar to this, different IP addresses and things, of course. But what you'll notice here is that it's giving you an IP address, a subnet, a gateway, and a DNS. They're all the same, basically. You've got your IP address is the same as your gateway. That's not going to work ever. So what you want to do is forget your network. Go back to wireless. You're going to type in your same network, same password. And then we're going to go to manual, which will take a couple button presses because it's searching for that network. So go to manual. And then this is super crucial. There's the first thing you want to check for once it loads to the manual page. See, it says it's connected to a network on manual, but what you want to do is double check your DNS server. This DNS server, the 75.75.75.75, absolutely must match your network on your GC3. So your GC3 main panel has to have that same DNS server. Your gateway, should be the gateway of your router. In my case, it's 192.168.1.1. Subnet mask generally will be 255.255.255.0. And then your IP address has to be different than your gateway and you'll set one. So in our case, ours is set to 192.168.1.248. That's one we've typed in and we've typed in manual. The newest firmware does not let you do auto. I don't know what two gig has done but it's only manual. So we're gonna save our network settings. And now we're connected to a network. So we're gonna back out of that. Now we're connected, but not controlled with a pair uh, panel. So next steps, we're gonna walk up, gonna go to our main GC3 panel, and I'm gonna show you the steps on that. Okay, so let's walk up to our main panel. I'm just gonna jump over to my phone on this for this part of it, but we're in our uh, demo room right now. So you see we're two gig dealers, Lutron dealers. And here's our main GC3 panel. So you can see I'm making the video, it's about 11.39 a.m. I just opened the basement door. So what I'm gonna do is go to my system settings, type in the default code. Default code for a two gig is 1561. If yours has been changed, you'll have to talk to your dealer. Couple things here. So you've got your main panel here. We're gonna go to our installer toolbox. When you look through here, you think that you're doing system pairing, you're not. You're gonna go to system configuration. You're gonna go to keypads. And then what we're doing here is We've got various keypads because we've been testing these. We've actually got about 15 uh, secondary panels that we've been setting up and uh, sending out to some customers. So we're gonna enable our panel. Equipment code 1060, SP1. Device ID, uh, ID number is not set, so we're gonna pair. 
So it's listening. Now we're going to zip all the way back down into our demo area. Okay, so I'm still on my phone. Gonna go to our main panel and I'm gonna switch over to our main camera. Okay, so we've ran back down from our main panel and we're gonna hit our pair button. It's gonna start broadcasting this panel to the main. See it's pairing, it's gonna give you a serial number. And then your next steps is you're gonna to wanna to back out of here and run upstairs and hit the save button on your keypad, which I'll follow up with the running up there. Okay, so we've jumped back up here it still says pair new, but it has given us a device ID number. And so what we want to do is return to system configuration and hit save. If you don't save, system the panel design. will not finalize its pairing. So you see we've been playing around with this. It's now 1150. It takes a while to jump back down. So now what you'll see is it says synchronizing. This may take a minute, and I've seen them take anywhere from two to three minutes to synchronize. And I'm gonna jump back to our main camera. So jumping back, you now it says synchronizing. This may take a minute. You can see it says found GC3 firmware. So it's going through and synchronizing with the main panel up there. Again, it's going over Wi-Fi, so this stuff takes a second. See these lights will blink a little bit when it gets closer. And bam, now we have a matched panel. 11.50, so it looks to me like it took about, oh, you know, one, two minutes to synchronize from what my last time snapped was on my phone. And now you have a match matching panel. It's all set up. Thanks for watching the video.